Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make a crustless meat lover's pizza. Let's get it. All right, to start off this recipe, we have our uh, tin pan here, and we sprayed it with some uh, cooking spray. And we placed in some tomato paste. Uh, we didn't have any marinara sauce, so we just used tomato paste for this. And we seasoned that with some salt, some garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning. And then we just uh, mix that in together and spread it around the bottom of the pan. We sprayed it with cooking spray for just easy release for none of the cheese or nothing would stick to the pan. Um, here we are adding in our cheese. This is Colby Jack cheese. You can use mozzarella or cheddar or whatever type of cheese you like. Now we're adding in some diced ham. And this is some um, chicken breast that we had uh, left over we just chopped that up and added that to it and now we have uh, took some salami and uh, quartered that added that to it as well as added some pepperoni slices And then we had a, a Roma tomato. We just cut off about a quarter of it, maybe four or five slices of it and added that to it. And you know, we put out our homie jalapenos on everything, had to add that to it. And then uh, topping it off with some more additional cheese. This is uh, some mozzarella as well as some additional uh, Kobe Jack cheese. And lastly, we topped it off with some crushed red pepper flakes. I like to add the red pepper flakes to it while it bakes it. it to me, it makes it a little bit more, more spicier. Now we're placing it into our air fryer. Um, I probably should have took out the metal uh, rack because it set it up a little bit high, closer to the uh, heat source. Probably should have put it down towards the bottom. But uh, we added it in and put it on uh, 325 for about five minutes and then raised the heat temperature up to max about 450 for about two minutes just for the cheese to brown. Um, everything that we put in here is already cooked. So we're basically just heating it up and getting the cheese to melt. So whatever, if you want to put this in the oven or in your air fryer. Uh, just start off on low just for everything to warm up a bit if it, but if it's everything's already warm just melt the cheese on top and you're good to go um, using the tomato sauce with uh, just the seasons that we had the salt garlic powder and Italian seasoning that worked great um, I didn't it didn't it tasted just like a marinara slice to me just because it was just such a small amount um, the only downfall that I see about this is that this uh, metal container that we had we got this from the dollar store and Dollar Tree and there you got like four containers for a dollar and they're very very flimsy so you see just holding it it kind of just lost the shape and everything but um, they're cheap and good enough to use for this purpose you can also use a cake pan or another sturdier pan if you like um, this the taste of this was great the uh, nice cheesiness with the cheese book uh, a lot of the meat that we added to it the ham the pepperoni the uh, chicken salami and it basically had meat in every bite so each bite you got sort of a different flavor a different taste to it um this uh it tastes just like a pizza um without the crust and you know doing keto you don't eat the crust anyway so normally eating pizza or ordering pizza you <laughs> normally <laughs> scraping off the toppings or sucking all the toppings off and then throwing the rest of the pizza away uh but this definitely beats that and and I would definitely want to try this again with other toppings and see what other combinations that we can make. But uh, like you see, we knocked this down. It's completely gone. <laughs> if anyone has any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy.
enjoy. Please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.